Hi everyone, welcome back to my office. Thanks for dropping by. So I got a question for you. How does one thing do two things at the same time? In our world, it doesn't happen very often. Our cars drive, our doctors heal, our lawyers prosecute, rabbis talk, that's what we do. But I'm gonna bring you back a long time ago. And the great question was that there was in fact something that did two things at the same time. In this week's Torah portion, we read about a cow that was sacrificed on the altar. Its ashes were then used to purify the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, before his worship on Yom Kippur, the holiest of days. But the rabbis have a warning about this. They say that while the ashes of this para duma, this cow, it was able to purify the Kohen in order that he could do this worship, if he was already pure, ritually pure, and he touched it, he became impure. So once again, how does one thing do two things at the same time? And the rabbis ask that question as well. And the Talmud answers in this way. They say, don't think that the ashes purify. And don't think that the ashes would also make someone impure who was already pure. The ashes don't do that. This rabbi in the Talmud said that the ashes are in fact simply a representation of the greater idea. And the greater idea, of course, is God. It is God before whom we should be pure. It is before God who makes us pure. And that our, even when we are impure, the presence of God reminds us to become better, to become pure. So this week in our Torah portion, when we read about this cow whose ashes either purify or impurify, we remember something else. We remember the great magic and mystery of life, and not everything is rational. And in fact, the less rational something is, generally in my experience, the more beautiful it is. So you should have a very beautiful Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.